voting. It's democracy's rose ceremony. Ever since last November's election, when Democrats turned out in large numbers, Republicans around the country have been working hard to make voting harder. And last week, the biggest voter restriction law just passed in one of the states where the results were the closest. A new law signed by Georgia's governor, Brian Kemp, imposes a series of new restrictions on elections in the state. Let's remind folks about what that law does. It shrinks the window for sending absentee ballots, severely limits the number of ballot drop boxes, and gives more control of local elections to state lawmakers who are majority Republican. It also makes it a crime to give water or food to people waiting in line to vote. President Biden last week slammed the Republican-backed law as sick. What I'm worried about is how un-American this whole initiative is. This makes Jim Crow look like Jim Eagle. Yeah, you tell him, Biden. And then maybe explain what you just told him because I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, is he saying eagles are worse than crows? Like, are we all supposed to share his personal bird rankings? Because I don't know about you, but this, this is the most Joe Biden thing ever. He's trying to make a point about America's history of racist voting restrictions, and instead, he's got us arguing about birds. Look, man, I agree eagles ought to go, but you can't be disrespecting a crow like that, man. You show me another bird that can use tools to obtain food. She. But that's right. After losing in November, Georgia Republicans decided to basically make voting more like all of the worst parts of flying. Okay, so there's gonna be really long lines. No one can have water. And if you're late, you can go f yourself. In fact, you know what? No shoes. Everybody take off your shoes. So obviously a lot of people were upset about this law. Democrats were angry. Black people were angry. The president was angry. So for help, they turned to the only people whose opinions might actually count for something. Giant corporations. More fallout now over the new voting law in Georgia. Major League Baseball pulled the All-Star game out of Atlanta, and over the weekend, the Braves covered up the All-Star patch on their uniform. The MLB's decision comes after civil rights groups put pressure on organizations and corporations to pull business out of Georgia. Two major Georgia-based companies, Coca-Cola and Delta Airlines, are now taking the same stance, arguing the Republican law was based on a lie and will restore strict voting rights. Delta CEO Ed Bastian spoke to CBS this morning. The, the right to vote is sacrosanct, and we can't do anything to send a message to people that we're going to make it more restrictive and harder to have their voice heard. That's right. Corporate America has come out in force against Georgia's new laws. Delta and Coke spoke out. The MLB moved its all-star game, and FX decided to film the next season of Atlanta in Alaska. Ooh, paperboy's not gonna be happy. And look, it's great to see corporations use their influence in support of voting rights, but... <laughs> but just to be clear, they didn't do this out of the goodness of their hearts, right? They did it because liberals were threatening to boycott them if they didn't speak out. And it's actually amazing what you can get companies to do when you threaten a boycott. I mean, just the threat of a boycott got Coca-Cola to back a voting rights group. Think about that. That means with just a little more pressure, we can probably convince Coke to put cocaine back in their drinks. Let's do this, people. But I guess I'm not surprised that they gave in because a lot of these companies aren't exactly in a great position to negotiate. Well, you can't boycott Delta Airlines because what are you gonna do? Fly a different airline? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, well, when you put it that way, uh, I guess we'll put out a statement. Now, here's the problem for these corporations. Anytime they try to make one side of an issue happy, people on the opposite side are gonna get pissed off, which is exactly what happened next. Georgia-based companies are facing backlash from Republicans after expressing their dissatisfaction with that state's new voting law. Now, Delta Airlines and Coca-Cola have found themselves in a heated fight with Governor Brian Kemp. After Delta's CEO, Ed Bastian, condemned the restrictive voting rights bill, Republicans in the state legislature are looking at increasing taxes on the company in retribution. A group of Georgia House Republicans is canceling Coca-Cola. They're saying Pepsi is okay. After the company's CEO spoke out against the state's new restrictive voting law, asking for all Coke products to be removed from their offices. GOP Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel tweeted, 
stated, quote, guess what I am doing today? Not watching baseball, followed by four exclamation marks. Former President Donald Trump is calling for conservatives to boycott corporations. Saying it's finally time for Republicans and conservatives to fight back. Boycott Major League Baseball, Coca-Cola, Delta Airlines, J.P. Morgan Chase, Viacom, CBS, Citigroup, Cisco, UPS, and Merck. The radical left will destroy our country if we let them. We will not become a socialist nation, adding Happy Easter. Okay, first of all, I love how he just threw Happy Easter in there. I mean, forget politics. I think Trump needs to start a line of greeting cards. Hunter Biden's laptop exposes the whole Russia hoax. The election was rigged. Mazel tov on your bar mitzvah. But more importantly, Trump has now called for boycotting the NFL and the MLB. I mean, at this rate, pretty soon the only sport left for him to watch will be what? Soccer. And I actually think that he'll like it, especially the flopping. Mr. President, an important part of this sport is uh, making it seem like your opponent did something wrong when in fact they didn't. It truly is the beautiful game. And honestly, you gotta feel for the GOP because they spend so much time defending corporate interests, trying to cut corporate taxes, letting corporations do whatever they want. And then the corporations are just like, cool, now we have more money to pay Colin Kaepernick. Not only that, Democrats are like, we will disband every corporation and make them pay. And Coke and Delta are like, yes, queen, slay us. But this is tough for these corporations too. I mean, they must really miss the old days, you know, when they didn't have to take sides on voting rights or culture wars. You know, they just made diapers out of asbestos and that was that. But these days, being a corporation means trying to navigate all these political issues without getting boycotted, which is not easy. But luckily, we have an idea for how they can avoid this problem altogether. Here at Delta Airlines, we've heard your concerns. You want us to speak out against voter suppression. And you want us to speak out for voter suppression. It's been an uncomfortable position for us, like trying to squeeze your knees into one of our coach seats. Until now. Introducing Blue Delta and Red Delta, our new subsidiaries that let you patronize the company with your values. At Blue Delta, we offer carbon offsets, an in-flight copy of Michelle Obama's memoir, and direct service between New York and Los Angeles with nowhere in between. At Red Delta, every plane features an in-flight shooting range. And in the event of a sudden loss of cabin pressure, no masks will drop. Hungry? Take Delta Blue and enjoy our gluten-free and vegan meals. Or take Delta Red, where everyone is served a cow personally shot by Don Jr. But most importantly, Red Delta's official corporate position is that black people should not vote. While Blue Delta's corporate headquarters is located in a cloud above the ocean and will not return to America until racism is over. So buy blue or red. No matter which you choose, we guarantee that your money will never go to the other one. Delta Airlines. Guys, we're trying here.